Day, Colorado. Now, new challenges for both presidential candidates on the heels of each party's convention. Clinton taking more heat for her email scandal. Trump now says he's afraid the election will be rigged. He's also facing more backlash over this. Remarks made against the parents of a Muslim U.S. war hero at the Democratic convention. Kazar Khan said Trump could not understand his sacrifice and was not fit to be president. Trump tweeting this response saying Khan viciously attacked him, then said Khan's wife probably wasn't even allowed to say anything, uh, not allowed to speak by her husband. Here's Khan's response to that. He is a black soul, and this is totally unfit for the leadership of this beautiful country. Now, this morning, the cons receiving even more support from Republican heavy hitters like Speaker Paul Ryan, Jeb Bush, Senator John McCain. So let's talk about all this. Welcome Republican strategist Jessica Peck and former state representative and executive director of NARAL Colorado, Karen Middleton. Welcome, ladies. Tumultuous time after the convention. What's happening now with Trump? Will, is this going to hurt him with women? Honestly, I believe so. I think the lack of respect for a military family, a gold star family, has resonated. And I think women in particular look at it and say, it's just not the way you do business and it's not the way you serve as a politician. I worry about his leadership in not being able to just hold his fire and think before he tweets. Well, this is also spearheading some backing from prominent Republicans, Jessica. How is this going to resonate for the Republican Party? Well, I think I'm a lot like most Republican women in that I don't vote as a woman. But this year, I'm voting as a parent. It's the first time I will ever not vote for Republican because I have to teach my kids that it's not okay to say racist, uh, you know, just bigoted things. And this is a great moment in American history, believe it or not, because we see Trump has lost seven percent for his anti uh, Muslim statements and maybe he, mm -hmm. Trump was talking about uh, military but certainly people are listening and this man will lose and lose bad. Okay well let's take a look at the polls uh, post convention polls that are out right now. What we see is a bump for Hillary Clinton which uh, actually it's a seven point bounce for her at 52 percent Trump at 43 percent. Remember Bill Clinton by the way back after his convention got a 13 point bounce after that convention so Hillary Clinton obviously not doing as strongly as many thought she sh or think she should be doing at this point. Jessica, you have a theory about that, about women voting for a woman because she's a woman. Right. I think Hillary's a byproduct of success. She is not the one who is spearheading it. So f I think for a lot of women, we're just sort of like, it's offensive to think that we need a woman to represent us. And, if a, and so um, there are a lot of women sort of turning away from that, even though this is a very historic, um, mm -hmm. impressive moment. Okay. Now, there is a remark made today. USA Today asked Donald Trump about his daughter. They, they posed this scenario, if Ivanka Trump were harassed on the job as a woman, what would he advise her to do? The response was she should quit or go get another career. Now, this is now going to be the new issue we're going to be talking about today. What do you see in that as being, how does that resonate to women? It's the same advice I would give my daughters, believe it or not. Really? And yes, because um, as a lawyer, I could have gone up the ladder and done corporate law and asked men for permission to have equal pay. But I went out and started my own firm. And I went out and started my own business. And that's scary. But I think okay. for well, Ivanka, she, she should go out and start her own business. But the other side of that is, should she stay and fight and make things better for all women? That's the other argument against that response from Trump. You know, I think women have to make a decision uh, when they're in, in a case like that, whether they're going to take it on and fight or whether they're going to say, I can actually do better going out on my own. Um, you know, I think women stepping up and fighting has been really powerful. Look at the women who have come forward and talked about the harassment faced mm -hmm. by Trump. I mean, there are accusations out there. There are, uh, I think it's three uh, okay. old, old cases. Mm -hmm. I think women coming out and speaking out is also important, but I don't think it's a cookie cutter approach. 53% okay. of the voting okay. electorate are women. All right. We get to say. Well, those are the women's issues that, that we're looking at right now, but mm -hmm. clearly there are many, many women who support Trump uh, quite strongly, and that's something that we'll continue to take a look at as we continue on next Tuesday right here on Good Day. But a reminder, and thank you so much, ladies, for coming on today, and a reminder, Hillary Clinton in Aspen today. She's going to be in Commerce City tomorrow. Mike Pence will be in uh, Denver tomorrow for that town hall meeting. So kdvr.com for everything you need to know. Greg, all three of us agree on...